For RotoExperts.com, I'm Nate Pickett with this Fantasy Football Roto Clip, and today I'm going to give you my start and sit wide receivers for Week 5 of the NFL season. And we'll start with Percy Harvin, who you will want to get into your starting lineup this weekend as the Minnesota Vikings take on the New York Jets. Now, Harvin started the season off pretty slowly, only 100-some receiving yards through three games, but... The Vikings went out and they got Randy Moss. And what Moss is going to do is he's going to open up all the underneath routes and the short passing plays that Harvin excelled at last year in his rookie season. And I think the Jets are going to target Harvin early and often in this game against the Jets and allow the second-year player to make some plays out in space, allow him to run after the catch. Plus, Moss is going to draw a lot of the coverage. He's going to draw Dar Darrell Revis in this one which will open up space for Percy Harvin expect a big game from the youngster and now we'll move on to another player who started the season slowly and that's Marcus Colston of the New Orleans Saints Colston's averaging less than 50 yards per play or per game I'm sorry and he was most likely drafted as a wide receiver one in your fantasy league but I think this is the, the week when he bounces back the New Orleans Saints travel to Arizona and take on a Cardinals defense that's 22nd against the pass, a Cardinals defense that allows 29.5 points per game, and Colston's really going to have a chance to exploit that, especially when you consider that Pierre Thomas, it looks like he's going to be healthy, and he's going to force the Cardinals to contribute more resources to stopping the run, which should open things up for Colston and the entire Saints passing attack. So get Colston into your lineup. You can trust him once again this week as a wide receiver one. Now let's look at a couple players that you're going to want to sit this week and we'll start with Johnny Knox of the Chicago Bears. Knox, he heads down to Carolina to take on the Panthers in week five and he will be without his quarterback Jay Cutler, which means that Todd Collins is mostly le most likely going to start the game. Even though Knox leads as a team in receiving, I don't think he's due for a very big game with Collins in at quarterback. Plus, he's going to be covered by Richard Marshall, who's an underrated corner in the NFL. And I think the Knox is going to have some trouble getting open with Marshall on him. The Carolina Panthers' pass defense isn't horrible. They're 16th, middle of the pass, middle of the pack in the NFL. And the final player to leave on your bench this week, Malcolm Floyd from the San Diego Chargers. San Diego takes on the Oakland Raiders who rank third against the pass in the NFL and he's going to draw Namdi Asamoah who has done an excellent job slowing down receivers this this season. Plus the Chargers face the Oakland Raiders run defense which is 31st against the against the run. So look for Mike Tolbert, Ryan Matthews, Darren Sproles to be heavily involved and when Phillip Rivers does drop back the pass I think he'll target Antonio Gates, the big tight end, has been his favorite receiver for years, and it showed it last week. I think we could be looking at a repeat performance from last week where Antonio Gates has a big game and Malcolm Floyd is kind of a role player in that passing attack. For more fantasy football advice, make sure you check out rotoexperts.com. Our exclusive edge package has live advice and email advice, two excellent tools for getting information about your fantasy football team. I'll be back next week with more sit-start wide receiver advice. Until then, I'm Nate Piggott.